Yes, so actually the answer is not VAD 4.0, it's actually VAD 11.0. Why? Because we were founded 11 years ago. And every year we reinvent what our concept of true value at the distribution is. When we were founded, that concept was very simple. Focus on niche technologies that address compliance. You know, simple. Year two, that evolved. You know, began looking at niche, but really also looking at extending compliance more than just to the user, to the databases and so on and so forth. And that kept evolving. Then we began adding the country teams and the local BDMs. We said, you know what, there's a big gap in the market. So we want to make sure that the customers are hearing about these technologies and we can then send those opportunities to the partners to accelerate the growth of that technology in the market and to create awareness within the customer. That model was very disruptive and it continues to be today. If you fast forward, you know, 11 years or from three, eight more years, today where we stand, we've got the framework as I spoke about before. We got the trend matrix. We got the direct touch teams. We've got geographical presence more than any security focused distributor. We have a focus on the top five trends and building verticals around these trends. We've got the, um, you know, the way we, we, we build our portfolio around having a solution-centric approach to go to market so our partners don't have to look at it from a point product but an integrated solution focus. So the simple answer to your question is every year that next generation VAD concept evolves and how it evolves is basically you know, keeping up with the, with the industry.